Republican politicians in the border states of Arizona, Texas, and Florida are putting migrants on buses and planes to so-called sanctuary cities, where federal immigration laws are not enforced. They include Chicago, New York, Washington, D.C., and Martha's Vineyard. And in many cases, those being shipped away from the border go voluntarily. Here's how one pregnant woman described the experience when authorities in Texas sent her to New York. Catastrophic, really. I was in danger of losing my baby in Mexico. It was really hard because we didn't get any help. Here, yes, I'm being helped in the hospital by immigration. But when I was sent here, I have not received help. Absolutely nothing. Medications more than anything. It's really those things, nothing more. That's all I'm asking for. Texas Governor Greg Abbott initiated the busing scheme, even earmarking millions of dollars for what he calls a transportation program. He says it's all in protest against the rollback of Donald Trump's anti-immigration policies. They even include the automatic expulsion of asylum seekers and the construction of a border wall. And everything that we've done up until now uh, would not have been needed if, if all that President Biden had done was to keep in place the border security plan that had been put in place by President Trump. Under President Trump, we saw the fewest illegal crossings in decades. Under President Biden, we see all-time record highs. It's time for President Biden to reinstate the strategies that were put in place by President Trump that proved so effective. The tactic has also been effective at causing what Democratic politicians call a humanitarian crisis. The mayor of Washington, D.C., where more than 9,000 migrants have been sent this year, says the nation's capital is ill-prepared to provide accommodation and declared a public health emergency. Also, her appeals for help from the National Guard were rejected by the Pentagon. Meanwhile, the mayor of Chicago has lashed out at Governor Abbott for turning poor people into political pawns. Governor Abbott has confirmed what unfortunately many of us uh, had already known, that he is a man without any morals, humanity, or shame. Instead of treating these individuals with respect that they deserve, the due process that our laws, laws require, Governor Abbott chose instead to humanely and humanely load them onto buses send them on a more than 12-hour journey across a country that they don't know, and to drop them off without any regard for what the next steps are. For many Republicans, those next steps center on taking back the Congress after November's midterm elections. Regardless of whether they're seen as weaponizing America's immigration problems for political gains. Ahad Fadli, The Newsmakers.